Hello Warfighters, War is Hell, welcome to the next episode in what could have happened had the August crew gone differently and there was a Soviet Civil War. Our mission is to try and deliver supplies to the forces loyal to the coup on the ground. Anything that we can do to help this advance continue, meaning rearming, resupplying, is definitely going to be needed. We're in this MI-8 using the cover of night to try and get to a position where we can drop off some of these supplies. Hope to go in unnoticed and get out of this area unnoticed as well, but it's unlikely that's going to happen, especially with the ZSU opening up on us. You can see the tracers lighting up the sky here. We're going to try to avoid that fire as we start banking left, but we're going to end up getting hit by one of those rounds, and it looks like that this ZSU, with all the rounds that it can fire at us, really got a lucky hit on us. The tail rotor has sustained some damage as well as some other parts of the helicopter as well so it looks like that we are going to be going down it's going to be up to the pilot to try and get us into a position where we can land as soft as possible he's trying to maintain some control of the helicopter but i don't believe that that is going to last for too much longer we do end up getting to the ground hopefully some search and rescue birds going to find us now that we've crashed, we have to wait and see what happens. So let's go ahead and get to the briefing at least. So if we're going to be in the area of Seversky again for this mission. Remember, this is continuing after the previous episode, just a little bit later on at night. The objective for the forces loyal to the coup is this airfield, which contains nuclear weapons. We were recently stalled right here at this town. Might be some opportunities to break through here. But as I mentioned, supplies were going to be the most crucial part uh, of this advance moving forward. So we came in and got shot down. The chance for any search and rescue bird to get me means I'm going to have to find a spot right here where I can be extracted. Because we crashed and some of the fuel had ignited, there's going to be some forces who are going to come to our location. Basically, the whole area is lit up. We also have a giant pillar of smoke coming from the helicopter. So hopefully we can wake up here and we can get on the move. All right, looks like I'm alive. Yes, I am somewhat hurt right here, but I think I'll be able to get up and get moving. I don't know if anybody else is alive here. Just checking my surroundings. Now from the looks of it, I am the only survivor. We've got one of the door gunners. And the guy who is gunning in the back, we've got the two pilots who were ejected as well. And I'm hearing a vehicle. There's a UAZ coming up ahead. You can see its headlights coming right at me. There's no way I'm going to be able to get out of this area without being seen. So I'm going to have to make a stand right here. So they get a little bit closer. I'm going to open up on them. All right, going for the left side first, taking down the passenger. Some of the guys that are there, there goes the driver. It looks like we got one guy still alive inside and out. Did I get the guy in the vehicle? If so, not bad. Definitely had the element of surprise right here as they were coming in, but I'm going to have to move as quickly as possible because I wouldn't be surprised if there's other forces that are coming in. Not only was the sound of the gunfire probably heard by forces in the area, but as I mentioned earlier, that giant pillar of smoke just, it's going to serve as a beacon. Everybody in the area is likely going to swarm to this location. If they get me, that's intel about the disposition of our forces, kind of where we're at. I, I got to get moving. It's important that I get out of this alive. Now, for any search and rescue bird to come in, it means I'm going to have to take down the ZSU that shot down this chopper. Or I try and move on foot a longer distance away than the reach of the ZSU. I might be able to do that here with it being night, but it's not going to be night for too much longer. So I wouldn't be able to get too far, potentially, without the sun coming up. I'm going to try and hug these trees and use this cover as much as possible. I just don't want to move in the open field off to my left, which is where I'm going to have to go to try and take out the ZSU. Now I'm 
seeing something on the horizon. It looks like we got some forces coming this way. I'm not sure of what is going to happen as far as when they'll be able to see me. Like the spotting distance and everything. So I'm going to engage these guys while they're out in the open. And I have some cover. So here we go. And try and take down their team leader first. That's not going to work. Come on. Got to use this tree for cover. Man, that had to be a lucky shot that I got hit through the tree. But it looks like that might have been a blue on blue. It looks like the machine gunner just killed his team leader or something. Maybe he just didn't like him. I don't know. Okay, there's one guy left. Unfortunately, it is the machine gunner. And he is prone, so I'm going to have to fire into the field here, around the general area where he's at. Going to cease fire here. Yep, I killed him. All right, let's get patched up here. And one of the advantages, of course, in this series, going up against my own guys in a civil war here, I'll be able to get some of the ammunition off of these guys and continue to move. I probably could grab a backpack, but I'm not going to. I want to stay as light as possible so I can move a little bit faster and at a longer distance than anybody who might be chasing me. So that's why I'm not going to grab uh, the backpack that he has. But I will grab a, a couple extra mags. And if I need to, I can grab some additional med packs off of these guys. Now, I have been wounded, and the first aid kit that I do have gets me to about 75% health, but there is a little bit more of a way for me to go. We'll see if me being wounded is really going to impact uh, the rest of this mission here. But I'm going to get up to this clump of trees as I continue to move on to the next major hill, which is where the ZSU is going to be. Now we've had the UAZ come in. Now it seems like we've got helicopters that are coming in to try and search the area for any potential survivors. That of course is me. So an MI-24 will likely be up in the air. That's another thing I'm gonna have to watch out for. If I start hearing the inbound chopper, I'm gonna have to duck behind some of these trees, go prone. Whatever I need to do to make sure that I am not spotted. If I am seen by the helicopter, we will probably have a large influx of troops coming to my position. And the chance of me surviving that is going to be, well, really next to nothing. The top of the hill off to the left is where the ZSU is. And again, I've got an open area that I have to go ahead and cross to be able to make it to the top of the hill. Gotten just about to the end of the forest. This seems like a pretty good place to kind of run out in the open. I'm just hoping that there is nobody really on the hill that will be watching as I move forward. Oh, I'm hearing the MI-24. I'm going to have to wait to make uh, my sprint across this open field until that MI-24 gets past. Sounds like it might be on the left. Yep, there he is. Okay, well, he's not going to spot me now. I think this might be the best time for me to, to make my run across here. Especially since that terrain might cover me. Not taking any shots, not seeing anybody. Perfect. Halfway through my stamina, so it should be good. Okay, I can just stop here once I get through this tree. Perfect. Oh, we've got a patrol right in front of me. It looks like an entire fire team. Okay, I'm going to stop. Wait for them to pass. And I cannot make a sound. If they open up on me, there's no way I'm going to be able to survive this. I definitely have the advantage at longer ranges against enemy forces. But when you're talking like 20, 30 meters, or in this case, like five, dang, that was close. Yeah, there's no way I'd survive that. Oh my gosh. 
He's right there in front of me. I caught him just at the area they make the turn on this particular patrol. I don't want to open up on him. Not only do I think I wouldn't survive, like I said a little bit ago, but the ZSU up on the hill, it might move to a different location if it hears gunfire going on down below. Okay, here's the fourth guy. Looks like it's the machine gunner, so he's going to be the person I'm going to want to be very careful about. Okay, I might be able to start moving now if I just stay prone. Once they get a little bit farther away, then I'll start crouching, and then I'm going to make a dead sprint for an area where I don't think they're going to be. I'm going to move off to the left. Maybe try and get behind the ZSU to see if I can take it out. Okay, now I think it's good for me to crouch. Just watching him in case he turns around or one of the guys gets smart to my location. I'm still surprised though. I got that close without being seen. Okay, they're moving up the hill. It looks like they're going to move right. So I'm going to make my sprint now to the left. Just turn, make sure that they're not aggroed. I can't even see them. This late at night, it's hard to spot anybody in the forest. Obviously, letting those guys get that close to me or allowing me get that close to them without being seen. Okay, I'm going to go until the stamina runs dry. All right, it's going to be a while until they get to my location. I doubt that they'll spot me, though. Makes me feel pretty confident now about what I'll be able to get away with here for this mission as far as the positions that I can, I can kind of stay at, be unseen, the recon I can do. It's going to be a vital, vital part of this. All right, I think I've gone... Just about as far left as I need to. So I'll start to move up the hill. Got a couple trees that I can use for cover as I get up here too. Almost to the crest. With the peak of the hill. Okay, not seeing a patrol. Wait, scratch that. I do. I see one person. I'm going to have to get back to this tree because it's nothing but open ground and any elevation that's higher than this tree at this point. I'll keep my eye on them. Once they have their backs turned, that's when I'll start to move up here. The turn's taking them back down the hill. That's two... Okay, we'll just let them go. I was going to try and wait to count for four, but then I realized I might not have seen the first two. I don't see anything yet. Oh, I'm starting to see the antenna of the ZSU. There we go. Got one guy. Potentially two. Yep, that's two right there. Okay, let's just toss a grenade right there. We'll kind of use that to get this started off. Once it blows up. Perfect. Okay, gonna fall back down the hill. Looks like there's one more, but there's more than one person firing at me. Some of that fire sounds like it's coming from the left. Oh, we have some other patrol. All right, two down. And there we go. There's three. Maybe this is a completely different patrol entirely because nobody's firing at me now. I only took out three. Or at least I counted only three. That other patrol I saw was four. Let's see if we can move up here. One of the things I just realized... 
I don't have an RPG to take out that ZSU, and I don't have any explosives. Uh, I was just a door gunner. All right, let's get this RPG 26 here. Perfect. We've got that equipped. Now we're going to have to move up here. The ZSU has got some armor that's going to make it difficult for me to take it out. I've only got one shot at this, so I'm going to try to move back to where I was before around this left side and see if I can get a shot basically right up the tailpipe, hit it in the back where the armor is going to be uh, a lot weaker than some other parts of the ZSU. Same thing is going to happen here as we saw with the crash site. This is going to alert everybody to my location. And I wouldn't be surprised if we see people start to swarm over here as opposed to the crash site or potentially even in addition to the crash site. So I'll have to move pretty quickly after I take this thing out. I don't see anybody who is standing up there. So I think I must have taken him out. Perfect. Good hit. Now I'm starting to take some fire. It looks like we got somebody on the right side who was probably prone. Now somebody on the left. You can see his gun just barely sticking up. And that was bright. That hurt my eyes. Chances are anybody who was around that ZSU is, is dead. If it wasn't the initial explosion, secondaries would probably do it. You can see just how much this area is illuminated just because of the explosion of the ZSU. I'm going to move up here, just make sure that it is clear before I move on. I don't want anybody sneaking up behind me, and I'm not seeing anybody there. I will take the risk and get moving. I don't want to get that close to the ZSU. The question is trying to find the next best place for me to be able to wait for the search and rescue bird. So I'm going to just continue to move here. We're going to go through this clump of trees. I feel like that area off to my right, the incline of the terrain or the slope is too high for a helicopter to land. Again, let's just get moving. We're going to continue heading in this direction to see if there's an area that we can spot that might be suitable for an LZ. But I want to get into some cover so that way I can take a look around. You know what? Looks like we've got something potentially off to my right. I feel like we're going to be spotting somebody right there. Yeah, I like that area. We're going to move over there. Should be far enough away from the ZSU to where once the helicopter comes in and is able to land, we won't have anybody that can really do too much about it. So you see back towards uh, or actually the area closest to us now, it seems like it's some pretty flat land. Should be enough space for an MI-8 to land. So I'm going to get on the move and start heading over there. Whether or not I come across anybody in this forest it kind of remains to be seen. I don't know where everybody is in this area. But I can't worry about it too much. I'm going to have to get moving. I'm trying to stay crouched, though, for that extra little bit of cover. I'm trying to stay low, stay out of sight. Sounds like the MI-24 might be circling around this area here now. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Okay. Time to get out of here. There's nothing that I can do against an MI-24 if he ends up spotting me. I have no more AT, so I couldn't even try to do some lucky, ridiculous shot and hit him with an RPG. Obviously, don't have like Estrella or anything to, to take him down. So it's really just evading at this point. I'd probably say I'm halfway to where I want to be. It's that hill directly up in front of us. There's going to be a like a tiny valley or a, 
or ravine, I guess. I don't know what you'd want to call it. But we're going to have to go down this hill and then up the next hill. Oh, here it comes again. That one was a lot closer. Okay, let's get moving one more time. Right, front looks clear. I'm worried that I'm just going to be shot at. Like, just one shot. Oh, we got a patrol. One person is all I see. He hasn't spotted me yet. I should probably go prone here, though. Any more? Was that really just one person? I mean, I can't see him now. All right. I'll have to be careful about this. Just moving through here. Having one person just run right on past me made that kind of have me nervous that anybody could be anywhere. Okay. I'll move stealthy. I'll move quietly. And I'm going to get to the objective and just wait for the search and rescue bird. Fortunately for me, getting to that position was uneventful. I didn't come across anybody else, but here I am. The one downside is I gotta find a good spot in which to just hunker down and wait. Now looking at this area, oh, and my 24 is coming back. There's a lot of open ground in front of us. Looks like from this position, there's a semi-decent slope down this hill. Oh, yeah, he's coming right to me. Uh-oh. I should have enough cover right here. But I got to find a good spot that allow me to protect this slope without being too much... Without being out in the open too much because of this MI-24. Maybe some other patrols as well. Could have somebody just walk right up past me like we saw before. Now there's an MI-8. I should be getting picked up by an MI-8. It looks like that this helicopter might have come from the direction of the airfield as well. So the MI-24 and this MI-8 are in the area. He could be dropping off some troops coming up this way I think I'm I don't know maybe it's some part I got spotted by the MI-24 maybe I'm just unlucky that we've got troops landing right here they'll probably try and spread out and kind of canvas the area comb the area uh oh he came up behind me and I'm moving I have to have been spotted okay gotta find a good defensive position now I might be able to just try and run. I don't know if I'll be able to do that. No, let's just wait and see about the search and rescue bird. You know, maybe maybe I wasn't spotted. Maybe it's just areas that could make decent LZs are kind of what they're looking for right now. Been able to punch a hole through their air defense in this area and obviously taking out a ZSU means that the air might be the way that I'm getting picked up I just hope that the search and rescue bird can get past that MI-24 okay let's just get out of the open we're gonna get to these trees looks like we may have a little bit of elevation right here this this might be the ideal position for me to just sit and wait for the bird and if any forces end up coming this way I should be able to hit them before they hit me and I've got the elevation all right birds inbound I don't have comms with it but I know the protocol for what happens if there's contact with a helicopter like this all right I really wonder if I'm going to make this, make it out of this one alive. I'll just have to wait for that, that 
bird. I've got smokes as well, which hopefully will be good enough. Like I said, I don't have comms with that chopper. The forces that were on that MI-8 have been unloaded, and they're patrolling around here. I saw one group kind of walk out in the open, just kind of at the end. Oh, we got more guys coming this way. All right, I'm going to have to engage them. They definitely look aggro. They're coming right to me. Oh, man, now that they know that I'm at this position, I can imagine there's going to be a lot more coming this way. Time to just stay back a little bit. Okay, that's two down. Anything to the left or to the right? They're going to keep running up this hill. Time to get a reload in. Stay behind this tree. I don't want the enemy to get a lucky shot like they did towards the beginning of this mission. All right, dropped him. Machine gunners. Got a good beat on me. Able to take him down before he does anything to me, though. Okay, it looks like two main axes of attack here. The direct front and off to my left. Those are the two areas I'm going to be watching pretty carefully. But I wouldn't be surprised if we see a flanking move to my right. If I can continue to hold these guys like this. They're going to get up here. It's more of their body that I can fire at. Two out of the three are down. I think it's some significant fire over here to my left. I'll just use that tree for cover from the guys to my front. Oh, there he is. I think maybe I took him out and another person was firing at me from that tree. I think that blind fire actually did the trick. I've been hit. Go prone. Get fixed up. Rinse and repeat. Ammunition's going to be a problem for me, especially if there's more of these forces coming in. It's not like I can just run up to KIA over here and grab what's off of them. I might have to make a pretty big retreat. That might force me to fall back, even though we've got the helicopter not that far away. And if I'm not at this LZ, too, when it comes, I'm... Um, might not be able to make it out of here at all. Just hold it as long as we can. Ah, dang it. Reload. Down to one more mag after this. He's at the base of the tree. Awesome. He's gone. I've got to conserve ammunition as much as possible. But I don't know if I'm really going to be able to do it that much. Considering how close these guys are. I've got another guy. Oh, here we go with the last mag. Oh, there is the helicopter. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to have to start moving to him. I haven't thrown smoke yet. Okay, I think we're clear. Perfect. All right, let's get moving. Got a lot of open ground I got to cover, and I'm starting to take some some shots. May have to go prone, but that's going to slow me down. We're going to try and make it right here for the chopper. Come on, man. I need you to drop on the ground. Oh, that guy's going to get a good shot on me. Oh, I'm dead. So that's going to be the end of this mission. I thought I was going to get on that chopper and get out of here. But it looks like I'm just going to end up as another KIA in this conflict as our entire team. Pilots, gunners, everything from that helicopter ends up being killed. So that it didn't survive this, this uh, fun survival mission to make. I hope you guys at least enjoyed it though. Remember there is going to be a lot more of this to come later on. So make sure you guys subscribe if you haven't already. You can join our Discord to be brought up to date on different events that we have going on and some other great conversations that we have in there as well. If you can, donate to the Patreon to help support the channel and this community. There's a lot of great things we've got coming up in the future. Would love to really get uh, 
get some help, be able to make some awesome things happen. But you guys are awesome. You really are. Thanks for dropping by. Again, I hope you enjoyed this video. War is hell. You don't have to worry because Warfighters, I've got your six.